Yo, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can fix all of your lags while driving, while walking, all of your micro stutters and everything else in GTA 5. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, step number one is update your Windows and GPU driver. And to do that, simply press your Windows key and then search for update. And just go to your uh, Windows update settings over here. So once you are in the Windows update section, you will see that your Windows is up to date or not. If it is showing any update, you can restart now and proceed with the update over here. Then you have to look up for your GPU drivers and to do that you have to open up your GeForce Experience. If you're an NVIDIA user, simply open up GeForce Experience, go to drivers section over here and make sure to install the latest GeForce game ready driver from over here. I want to introduce you guys to Avisan Remote, it's a very clean screen mirroring application designed for your Windows, Android, iOS and Mac. This software allows you to remote access your device through your phone or PC wirelessly and effortlessly. RA can remote your mobile, desktop as well as your games up to 144 FPS separately offering tons of features such as dynamic gamepads, accessible mouse, remote turn off switch and file transfer and much more. Using it is very simple, just download the software on your PC as well as mobile and quickly log into your account. Now you can see that your PC is online in your mobile application. All it takes is a password or a quick QR scan and now you can enjoy your computer screen on your device. Here is me playing GTA 5 on my Android using the Aria remote. As you guys can see, I have no problems playing this game. The controls are really simple and the game looks pretty neat. As you guys can see, the screen is really smooth and the quality is really great. It is really amazing. So what are you waiting for? Go check out Avison Remote for free from the link in the description below or the first comment down below. And make sure to let me know how is it. Also, don't forget to check out Avison Smart Plug C2 that can help you to one tap, wake up or shut down your computer remotely from your phone. Links in the description below. Step number two is NVIDIA control panel settings and to do that simply right click on any empty area of your desktop, go to show more options and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Once you're over here, simply go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure to use the advanced re image settings. Then go to manage 3D settings and copy the same settings as I am going to show you. Once you have copied the settings, simply close your NVIDIA control panel. Let's move to step number three, that is the essential Windows settings. And to do that, open up your settings. And the first thing that you are searching over here is the game mode. Simply go to game mode and make sure to turn it on because game mode optimizes your PC and it also disables applications running in the background. So your PC can perform much faster. Right below that there will be another graphic section over here, simply click on it and there will be a list of all the games installed on your computer. Simply scroll down and this automatically picks all of the applications and games in your computer that requires your GPU. If you have GTA 5 like I listed over here, you can simply click on options and select high performance then click on save. If you do not have this option, you can always click on browse and go to install location of GTA 5. Then go all the way down to windows update section, then go to advanced options and scroll down to find delivery optimizations. Make sure to turn this thing off. Alright, step number four is system configuration and to do that simply open up system configuration from the search bar of windows. And once you're over here, simply go to the boot section. Then go to advanced options, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors from this list. This will basically make your windows boot much faster, allowing your processor to be utilized while your computer is booting up. Simply click on apply and click on ok. Then click on exit without restart. Step number 5 is disabling the full screen optimization of GTA 5. And to do that you have to open up steam, go into your library, look up GTA 5 over here, simply right click, go to properties, 
then go to local files and then click on browse and soon you will be in the installation location of gta 5. once you're over here simply right click on gta 5.exe go to show more options then go to properties and once you are here go to compatibility and make sure to click on disable full screen optimizations then click on ok also right click on any empty area in your folder click on new and the text document name it command line.txt open it up and then just type in ignore different video card just the same way i have done it then simply close this now you can close the gta5 installation folder step number six is creating a restore point because the steps ahead in the video will be helping you guys with changing of hard settings in your computer simply search for create a restore point and then look up for your local disk c or any drive which says system in the brackets click on create and name it gta5 once it is done you can simply click on close and then click on ok Step number 7 is downloading the GTA 5 FPS pack from the link in the description below. Simply download and open it up and you will find in 5 folders and 2 text files. Let's start with the text file number 1 that is the launchoptions.txt. It will contain a long string of text that is really useful if you are playing the game. Simply control A and select everything, copy it, right click and press copy over here, minimize this and now open up your steam back again, right click on GTA 5, go to properties and in the launch option code you can simply paste everything over here. If you have installed GTA 5 from Epic Games, you can do it the same way in Epic Games as well. Simply close the launch options and now go back into the gt5 fps pack open up the ultimate power plan text and in here you have to copy this whole power plan then open up cmd run this as administrator and once it opens up simply control v or paste it over here press enter and that is going to make an ultimate performance power plan in your computer and to apply it simply search control panel then once you are over here you have to look up for power options and once you are in power options you will find it under hide additional plans go with ultimate performance but make sure that if you're using a laptop do not select ultimate performance as that will result in heating of your device and reducing the battery life if you're on a pc feel free to switch it to ultimate performance this will provide maximum resources to be input and provide maximum performance on your computer once done with that you have four folders over here high end medium end low end and potato end so basically all of these four folders contains one settings.xml file and there is a very precise rule over here so if you are running a computer with no graphics card you have to use the potato n if you're running a computer with at least a gt series graphics card use low end if you running your computer with a gpu equivalent of gtx series of graphics card use medium n and if you are running your computer with an rtx series of graphics card over rtx 3060 you can use the high end settings.xml over here so just for an example i will go with low end settings.xml just simply open it up and you will be looking at many settings over here that i have already pre-decided for your computer basically you have to copy this file go into a file explorer then look up for documents in here you're looking for rockstar games gta5 and there it will be a settings.xml file now once again this is the exact same settings.xml file and the basic purpose of this file is to save your in-game settings so i highly recommend you guys to make a backup of it so simply shift it to the backups folder and then paste the new settings.xml file over here and these are basically your new in-game settings now once you have applied one of these four folders you have to open the fifth folder that is the ram optimization and there is basically presets from 2 to 64 GB of RAM and to know what RAM you're using simply search for system information and then there will be an installed physical memory on your computer you have to take note that which memory you're using for me it is 16 GB so I will be using the 16 GB RAM registry it can be different for you so if there is you can choose it from the preset 
once you are done with all of these settings you're done with the fps pack feel free to close it and now the second last step that is the step number eight that is adjust appearance and performance of windows so simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and this step itself will change your windows performance drastically well basically it automatically lets your windows choose what is best for your computer but if you want you can automatically set it for best performance and simply click on show thumbnails instead of icons because thumbnails looks more cooler but anyways this will basically disable the animations in your computer so your computer can perform much faster it will leave the materialistic look so simply click on apply once it is applied you can see the windows animations have been completely disabled and now th there is no animations absolutely and your text is now worse so yeah i don't prefer that but if you have a super low end computer you can always keep it i keep it to let windows choose what's best for my computer and as you guys can see my text will be reported back and windows animations are back again so this is an optional step if you want you can do it and last is opening up GTA 5 and following the in-game settings. Okay, once GTA 5 opens up, you have to go into the settings section over here and then go into graphics. And over here, you can see your video memory is way, way lower. And this is what you need. You can just check a look over here. For me, I will just change it to my monitor's refresh rate. Scroll all the way down and make sure that you have no other settings that you want to change. And yep. I'm already using 15 megabytes of my video memory then go to advanced section and make sure that you do not have any other thing over here enabled and once you can see everything is good you can go back and play the game once again all of those settings are user specific and if you feel that you are not satisfied with those settings you can always change anything that you like so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below we are really close to 80,000 subscribers and i really believe in you guys we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out